I'm Shika. Today, we are discussing how to deal with stressful moments as a coach and as an entrepreneur. I'll be sharing four mindset prompts which you can, which you can use on yourself to change your perspective fast and calm yourself when something unwanted happens right smack in your business journey. So at the end of this episode, I hope that you will find these mindset prompts very useful and hopefully you can use them on yourself when you hit stressful moments in your business. And before we start, I want to share that I have a done for you overcome stress masterclass, which you can conduct with your clients. I have done all the work for you. I've written 80 slides for you. I've written the workbook as well as the script for you. All you need to do is just launch it. And this will help you save so much time as a coach and so much energy because I have experience in counseling. So my done for you coaching products have more depth. I would like to believe that they have more depth than all those AI generated content right now. I know that AI is all the rage right now, but I create materials using my own research, observations and experience. And I hope you find that valuable for yourself and also for your clients. If this is interesting to you, you can click the link in my description box to learn more about my done for you stress masterclass. Anyway, back to today's topic. Well, we all define quote unquote stressful moments differently. And if you are a smaller business owner like me, you're going to worry about very different things as compared to a seven-figure business owner. I feel that it is best not to judge other people's definition of stress because we all have very different life experiences. Um, we are at different stages of self-growth. And some of us are more sensitive to stress than others. That's why it is a very humbling practice to be open and also not belittle other people's business problems. And I share this because three years ago, I followed this solopreneur who was used to pulling seven-figure launches. She was clearly very successful in her field. And there was one launch where she only earned $400,000. I remember that she went into a full-blown panic attack mode. And she had to literally lie down and do deep breathing exercises to calm her nervous system down. As a newbie in business at that time, I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. I was thinking she's earning $400,000. That is more than the average American or more than the average person on the planet. But as the years passed, I developed more compassion for other people and their business problems. I'm not saying that I'm at her, at her level or anything like that, but problems and suffering are relative and they are not absolute. Also, when someone starts earning more money, it's natural for them to upgrade their lifestyle. It's human nature for us to want more and to maintain such lifestyles will require money. Also, we have to bear in mind that bigger businesses tend to have staff to pay and retain. So their problems are going to be very different from my own small solopreneur problems. I think I'm digressing, digressing a little bit. But nevertheless, when you are facing this stressful or a stressful moment in your business, it is very helpful to quickly get some perspective and remind ourselves that life is actually much bigger than just our business. Life is also about self-growth and I believe that running a business is like taking a crash course in personal growth because our mental blocks and our limiting beliefs will just keep popping up over and over again until we resolve them. So how can we deal with stressful moments in business? There are various ways. Some people like to take a more quote-unquote external approach and they like to reach out for external things activities and reach out for certain kinds of food, certain kinds of hobbies or reach out to certain people to help them handle stress. Another approach is to take a more introspective approach. And to do this, to start doing this, I will share some journaling prompts for you to reflect on. If you're wondering how you can use these prompts when you're under stress, you can choose to set a timer for five minutes and write your answers down nonstop on a piece of paper. Or you can record a video of yourself answering these prompts. So whichever way works best for you. Let's start. Mindset, sorry, mindset prompt number one to deal with stressful moments as an entrepreneur is to ask yourself, what lesson did I learn from this stressful episode? This is a very cliche question, I would say, but every challenge and problem presents an opportunity for us to learn something. For example, as much as we do not like to face quote-unquote difficult clients, it is still an opportunity because it is, it is suggesting to us that perhaps we need to start looking for a different type of clientele. 
And if you launch a course or a program and it flops, perhaps you need to tweak your launch processes or offer courses and programs which people actually want. There is a lesson in every problem or challenge if we look at it hard enough. Mindset problem number two is to ask yourself, how have I grown as a person after facing this problem? As an example, if your sales, if your sales figures have dropped by about 50% this year compared to last year, it is very disheartening. And you may even start doubting yourself, your business, and even doubting your own judgment. One way to look at this with perspective and feel calmer is to see how you have become a quote-unquote better person or better version of yourself after this problem. So if your sales have dropped drastically, you may doubt yourself, but you may also have adapted and grown to be someone who is more grateful for small things in life. Or you may have grown to be someone who spends money more consciously because of that drop in income. Your identity is fluid. So when you earn more money in future, your ident- you will grow again as a person and your identity may shift again. That's prompt number two. Mindset problem number three is to ask yourself, how does this problem highlight what I actually want? If I use the previous, the same previous example, let's say your business income has dropped by a lot and you feel very disappointed by it. It is just a simple reflection that you enjoy earning more. You may want to journal why earning more money is important to you. Is it because you want to maintain a certain kind of lifestyle? Does earning more make you feel validated? Is your self-esteem tied to your earnings? If that is the case, what you actually need or want is more self-acceptance and more self-worth and not more money directly. If you dig deeper, you will discover your genuine needs and desires underneath every problem or challenge that you go through. Mindset problem number four is to ask yourself, how can I turn this problem into an opportunity? This prompt may not be very straightforward because you may have to do some brainstorming to see how you can spin this problem to be a golden opportunity for you. As an example, if your clients are not renewing their contracts with you, you can use this extra energy that you have to research or to create a new offer If AI is taking over your business, you can brainstorm to see how you can make your own work unique and stand out even more in the sea of all the AI-generated content out there. My own favorite way of transforming a problem into an opportunity is to share the issue with my email subscribers. I have about 9,000 email subscribers uh, right now, mostly coaches. When you share your ups and downs with your followers and community, you connect with them on an emotional level and they remember you. And connecting emotionally with your followers is very powerful because people remember how you make them feel. If you make them feel validated, motivated or inspired in any way, they tend to remember you clearer. So if you want to be part of my email list of coaches, you can sign up from the link in my description box. I share mindset and coaching content ideas via email and you can share these ideas with your community and followers too. And if this is interesting to you, you can go to my description box to join my mailing list. And that's all I have to share with you today. I'm curious to know which of the four prompts you like best. You can leave a comment if you want to. Thank you and I will see you next time.